Blush, gold and grease. Hello him, hello him. Yes, give thanks, Elohim, Elohim. Blessed love to each and every one. We welcome you into the tiger's nest. Of course, you know we're carrying this to a next level. Rastafara is about to speak and has spoken. Hey, Honorable Priest Isaac here with you. What a joy. We just completed a wonderful session a moment ago, an international homeschool presentation. It was very wonderful. And now we are ready. We're going to have a special visitor tonight here in the Tiger's Nest, Bongo Flacco. We're talking about Elder Flacco. He's going to join us in a few moments. And we will be talking about some Rastafari history. As you know, he himself is a reservoir of information, uh, 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 information that he himself received from the elders. So we definitely intend to go deep in a moment with Elder Bingy Flacco himself. But for sure, as you could see, definitely on the screen, for sure, Rastafari and the womb man. This is this Sunday. As I said, today, we just had a wonderful session with all the children. That was our international homeschool presentation. It is still available online. You know, you could go and watch it still for those who missed it. Remember, it's a totally free presentation. All you have to do is the same procedure, though. You have to email me and just say that you missed it and you'd like to see it or just ask for it and we will give you the link and you go on the webinar platform and you could view the whole program it's only about an hour five minutes we went into you know so many different things and it was very interactive you know on astronomical levels we were talking about the sun we went into mercury the solar system in general African levels, we were talking about the River Nile, the River Happy, Lake Victoria, Lake Tana. We went into breaking down some key Swahili words, Jambo, you know, Habarigani, you know, you know, Nzuri, Asante Sana, Karibu, and we went deep, give thanks, you know, for even that. Uh, we looked at some Medu Netter or the Netters uh, or the Netaru, I should say. So it was a wonderful presentation we had today. The youth that were in the house, definitely they, they left with a, a joy. And as I said, even after you, you're done watching this here tonight, just email me, say, Priest Isaac, I want the link for the international homeschool presentation you did today. And I just send you the link. Um, there's no charge and you go into that. But remember next Sunday, as you can see, Sunday, the 1st of November, that's Sunday coming. It's here already. This is a next online lecture. I would say a continuation from the first online lecture, which was Rastafari and the cosmos. Now we're dealing with Rastafari and the womb, man. You know, obviously a different discussion all together, but the cosmos is going to be a part of it because we're going to be going into the cosmos. That's why we did the program on the whole menstrual cycle of the woman. And you already see the connection we're making with the key of life plus the galaxy itself, which really, you know, the goddess Nut and represents the coming forth of the sun and moon and the star, Ra. The sun, the star, ras, the star, ras, star, you know. I mean, it's clear as crystal. Plus, we're going to be looking at this even on, if you want to say, terrestrial level. You know, we're going to be breaking down the whole aspect of that Willie Lynch letter that talks about the breaking of the black woman. We're going to go into that. So it will get a bit emotional. And But we're going to be scanning the whole atmosphere and really bringing it home. This is something you just gotta come and sit in and sup with us and partake with us. It's Sunday, this Sunday, the 1st of November. Please don't wait until the last moment. You know, Sunday, the 1st of November, 7 p.m. Eastern Caribbean time. I cannot give you the time, you know, for where you are. I can't give everybody their time. Like, you know, you know, this is the time it's gonna be in Japan. This is the time it's gonna be in the Pacific Islands. This is the time it's going to be in New Zealand. This is the time it's going to be in Iceland. No, no, no. You know it's the it's 7 p.m. Eastern Caribbean time. All you have to do is to check the link and see what's the time in Germany, in Sweden, in Czechoslovakia, 
in Bosnia, Herzegovina, wherever you may be, North, South Korea, you just check and see what the latitude is saying in your land as it relates to 7 p.m. Eastern Caribbean time, and that's it. You know, we're going to put the link for the Cash App. It's in the description below the Cash App link. You could just press the Cash App when you make your admission uh, payment, 20 United States dollars currency. When you make that payment, we're asking you, please to send us an email and let us know that you have done it. Although we will get the, 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 the announcement, the notification for sure. But because, you know, sometimes the, the name on the cash up and the email may be a bit different and we want to make sure everything is in sync. And of course, it's Atonra, A-T-O-N-R-A-2723. We do ask that you ease, um, no, no PayPal uh, payments for the moment, please. We have to reconfigure that PayPal thing. But if you have any problems with the, with the cash app, just email us preciseisaac27 at gmail.com and we will give you some alternative ways for the money transfer. So it's going to be a wonderful lecture. Looking forward to seeing the house packed, you know, and interacting with you. And it's a lecture class, you know, not just vibes and motivation. Yeah, we come and have a nice time. But in the two hours that we'll be spending on that webinar platform, you know, you could come with your pen and your pad because we're going to break it down. Remember, for sure, if you are a subscriber to the shock of the our nightly radio program, you don't know that your ticket is already safe, you know, and, and once you become a subscriber, you don't even have to worry about paying to come to any of the events. So that's a good option for you to become a subscriber, plus obviously getting our nightly radio program every day. You get in the program, you know, brand new program every day, more information, interviews, and all sorts of different things that you, we do not really bring to the YouTube and to the internet itself. So yeah, looking forward to seeing you this Sunday. We are ready and ready and ready and roaring to go. You know, Rastafari and the woman. So as I said in a moment here, we will be joined by Bongo Bingi Flacco. And you see him here with Ras Isaac. Let's just get a listen of this while we wait for him to come and join. The fever Nagas, the glory of kings. Now let him carry out. You must have a covenant with them and they preach them that we hear. To the most that establish it to the whole world. So they will come and fight against him. For it was the lady of Zion gave that poor, not of in King Solomon no, personally. No, no. But through the lady of Zion, which is the ark and the covenant that were made for the rod of Aaron, that said God was in the ark of the lady of Zion. Yeah, of course. And that ark moved by night and rest at Gaza overnight. For Gaza, Solomon did give Gaza called the Kibana Gaz. Gaza for his inheritance. See, it's over there, I'll get you to rest. In Kibana Gaz, he had said that when they are uh, catching the catch and rest, there was one of the, the, the followers then that leave Jerusalem dead. And then he dead now. Then bury him. And when the time comes for the ark, move the ark, we don't want to move. They dig up that dead body of call to keep Ranagas and burn it. Wise brethren were there with those intellectual, with busy with knowledge. And they burn his body and take the ashes and cast over the heart. Mm -hmm. Find no one left. No, no, fell around. You know? <laughs> and when he cast over the heart now, the ashes, I can dig him up and burn the body. I can't to keep Ranagas. And the heart get up now and move over the Red Sea. Faster than a eagle, the history said fast like an eagle, and go within the church of Ascom. For the heart is there now in the church of Ascom, of a part of the church of a secret case. For all the things in that is spoke with the secret. Mm -hmm. right. You understand? But Ascom, the heart is there now. Um, Bongo Isaac.
not give up. And this show keep not bad. All right, just one moment. Uh, I just did a quick look there to see if the good brother was ready, but I, I haven't seen him, but um, you know, he just post up like a few minutes ago, about a half an hour ago, a, a video, um, I, I believe it's a recent video, that's him there, that's Bongo Flacco. I just went to check him to see if he, you know, how, how he was doing. And I saw him just post up a video uh, for the funeral of uh, Elder Ras Bob. I'm not too sure who that Bob is. And, well, no, I don't think I've ever met the brother, but uh, Bongo Flacco is giving a little two minute presentation, at least the video he put up here is about two minutes. So since it's his program and we're waiting on him and uh, it looks recent because there's a lot of the places like wet and I know there's a lot of showers in Jamaica right, right, right now. In fact, I think they have a, a, a watcher, uh, avalanche watch, uh, flood watch, something like that. But anyway, let's listen to what Bongo Flacco is saying. This is coming straight up. It's his own internet page. Let's hear what he's saying. You know what, boy? Very, very good. Close enough. All his struggles, all his tribulations, his needs were there for him. In the sense that even foreigners know about Bright through me. Speak from overseas. A lot of people know about Bright. Oh, no, no, no. It's not a, a Rastafari known in Jamaica alone, but known in England, in Europe, in Italy, in Spain, or the international. So we, we are not ignoring our mind of Bad Ride, who it is. He's beyond Jamaica because of Rastafari, we cared for him and we're there for him. Too thick and thin. When you go to Bad Ride, Bad Ride would not, would not sell us a coconut, he would give us a coconut. Yeah. And when visitors come, we we'll give them. And many of the visitors that came, first time they were drinking a coconut. And they could not even drink a full cup of Bob Rye coconut. They have to drink and fall and use straw. So that is the love that we had for Bob Rye. And that love will go on. Even Bob Rye's needs were there for him. But we knew, even when there was a big flood in North Gully and all his coconut was washed away, we were there for him. Even when selling, is little things to keep him alive were there for him. So I'm just here to tell you the strength of Rastafari was with Bob Rod. So when you see like Mr. Brown and me were there for Bob Rod as a collective family. And Bob Rod, in, in the history of Rastafari, Bob Rod will be always remembered as one. Oh, the, the story is that you know, when there was a football match, you know. At her part, Bob Roy was the one that could peel a cane like, 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 like a flash of lightning. Just peel, peel, peel a one, one, one. How he cut the coconut without cutting his hands. Mm -hmm. So he was a person that was admired, and many ones would, would all it. So when Bob Roy cut cane, do the football match with a stockpile of cane. He was so skillful mm -hmm. in his duty. So Bob Roy is very loved and very respected among Rastafari. Right? And I hope you as family remember him as how I remember him as a loving and kind person. I give thanks to your time. Amen. Get amen there. So that's Bongo Flacco there. Yes, just about two minutes, 33, very concise. And, you know, just interesting. Uh, um, well, behind the scenes, you know, we kind of set a time. And uh, I don't know, maybe this event kind of went over his head. Uh, it just came up or well i don't think it just came up i guess maybe just i don't know what the case was whatever it may be but um he didn't mention this part of it but everything is good i i expect somehow to get make contact with him soon um it's just interesting to me that i went searching and he just uploaded this video of him giving a little speech here bob roy sounds like an interested individual you know um he was speaking about the love. He said, Barbara, I wouldn't sell you a coconut. You give you a coconut. And again, as I said, even at the beginning, you know, the brother Bongo Flacco, although he's an elder, but he's like a younger one to the elders. And uh, 
he would have retained a lot of the information. You know, it's like a reservoir, you know, for, for, for the archives, you know, the ancient ones that have left such knowledge with him. So there, as I said, you know, even how he would deal with the cutting of the cane and, you know, I mean, one of his coconuts, you can't even drink off a whole coconut and all of these different things. Interesting. But anyway, when he comes in, we will ask him a bit about that. Um, and I'm sure everything will be good. Yeah, so give thanks, Rastafari, live, you know, to say. That is love that Let me see if he's close on. by. And that love will go on. Even Barbara and Neve were there for him. But we know, even when there was a big flood in North Berlin and all his coconut was washed away, we were there for him. Even when I was selling his little things to keep him alive, we were there for him. So I'm just here to tell you the strength of Rastafari was with Barbara. Oh. Yes, Rastafari, blessed love, we are here once again. And as promised, we definitely are. You know, we are blessed to have with us Ras Bingi Flacco in the house, sitting with us here in the tiger's nest. My Lord, I must say it's an honor that, you know, I could sit with, as I refer to you to the audience as a reservoir, you know, of information who I know have gotten the information from the archives themselves, the elders, <laughs> you know. So give thanks. Give thanks for a man like the I coming and sitting with us. And even before we go too deep, you know. I just presented a little clip from that you took just a while ago. I know you're coming in from sure. the Senna for, for, for us. Um, Bob Ra is not an individual I'm too familiar with, but um, we were listening to you talk about the love that he was, you know, he had, you know, you don't have to buy a coconut from him. He bless you with a big coconut. You can hardly drink it off. And you talk of how he, he would, you know, peel cane like lightning. And sure. Although I don't know him, I, I I overstand that that science, you know, as a as a young elder myself. Plus the love that Rastafari used to have. Well, I wouldn't say used to, it still have, but more when we just came in Rastafari, I had a kind of love that I could see you were somewhat expressing that even in your presentation there. So even before we go into the I and anything, this is not a part of the script, but I don't know if you want to clarify anything about that that elder day since I'm sure many of us don't know him, especially those who may not be in Jamaica. You know, um, Bob Ra, you say his name is. Right, right. Okay. Most ones would know about Coral Garden atrocity. Yeah. 1963, wherein the government had declared so Owen War and Rastafari, where you see the government declare war, so bringing all Rasta dead or alive is a serious atrocity. So you're talking about Rudolph Franklin. Cause most one don't know Rudolph Franklin was on captured land, but most ones don't know who is Rudolph Franklin. As a boy, so I ancient it. Bob Roy smoked the last chalice with Rudolph. Rudolph invited Bob Roy to be part of the, the well, what do you say? Come remember, you know, Rudolph Franklin was shot. And he was left for dead. He was not dead. So the government gave him a year and six months in, in, in prison. So when he came out, the doctor told him that he, he did a plastic surgery, so to speak. So the doctor told him that when he started to smell a foul smell coming out of him, his stomach, he's going to die. So Rudolph planned his personal revenge on those who caused him wrong. So he invited Bob Roy to be part of his local gang. Bob Roy said, no, I have nothing to do with police and I will not join you. So they smoked the last chalice under the Nesbury tree and, and Bob Roy blessed with us. You, you, you can go, I won't go with you. So we learned that my association with, with Bob Roy because I learned that he was falling through his floor as an ancient, you know, that I was 70 something year old. Mm. So I get to know him. So that was the time when the government was trying to give compensation for Rastafari what suffered through car guards. Mm -hmm. So I get to know him from that time. Due to how I, I am a representative of World Sound Power Collective, 50C3 NGO, I 
I was an advisor to them at the time, then I am now a vice president. I thought it was wise to solicit funds now. Bill Barbara Gates. Mm -hmm. So it took me the two years and we, we, we accumulated 5,000 US dollars. So from then, Barbara became a close friend of mine. Talk to him, go at his house. In fact, I did Bob Roy book, Testament of Ancient Bob Roy. This is a life story book I did. True, why is my publication? I do many, many things, you know. Hey, so hey. with that close relationship with Bob Roy, sitting down with him, speaking to him, find out his needs I could actually speak so fluently. And the philosopher, most people don't know, so we know Bob Roy so much. I, I spoke to things and Rastafari. So it shows that most Rastafari don't go, go to a funeral, but I am not of that type of person. I will go. Most Rasta don't look on people. Because if we don't go, anything can happen to people who transcend, right? Of course. You know, so we can I, I'm not of the mindset. I go there, live His Majesty went to a funeral. His Maybe Majesty went to a funeral. <laughs> so I have to I have to walk in that footstep. <laughs> so I'm not afraid of going to funerals and speak in my mind and telling give my own testimony in short. So I thought it was wise for me to go, knowing that I am so close to Bob Roy and to give a little synopsis of who Bob Roy is and to tell a real story. So it was, I, I was happy to go to share that memory with his family who don't mm. know him that I could, much. I could see that. I could and when see. I look on Bob Roy, right, when I look on Bob Roy in the cascade, he had on his red, gold and green sash around his jacket and he had on his hat. So it was well put together. I have nothing to complain about how they put him away. It was fine. So <laughs> yeah, man, it's as, good to do that. See? As African people, I know that we supposed to um we supposed to take care of our elders or anybody when the transit for sure. We exactly. supposed to handle it. Exactly. You know? And um I, I did an interview a few strongs ago. I don't know if you you, you should know Priest Doggy. Um he's a Bobo Shanti. We were speaking of that yes. whole science of the putting away and a brethren did pass just the other day in St. Lucia. And mm -hmm. the brethren them in St. Lucia, the Bobo Shanti, them priest Westmore, priest Kailash and the others, they actually collaborated See? with the family. And if you want to put it okay. in lay, layman term, is the Bobo them buried the dead. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, well, I mean, but now being, now being, have a problem. I pray with my lord. Now being have a problem with funerals. No, Bobo Bo too. Bobo Bo too is the same thing. But I'm just showing you. You know, that's why sometimes when the broad brush it, they, you know, they have, they have ones that you know, what I mean, have sensible thought and say, "Yo, man, man, can't live in them kind of them backward stage." They you know it's, it's step up time. Mm -hmm. you know? But you step saying, up time. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. It's a step up time. <laughs> we are not in the philosophy of let the dead bury the dead. Mm -hmm. I'm not in that. I have to do my part as possible. I have children too, so I'm going to do leave them if anything happens. You put yourself in that position, you know, to ensure that things go right. That's yeah, man. That's yeah. the far right. But as you mentioned, Rudolph, you know, I mean, I know, well, mm -hmm. the knowledge I get is, to be honest, from the, the little I would have read. You don't get uh -huh. too much of him in documentation, but that video that came out on the Carroll Gardens massacre. You mean Bad Friday? But yeah, that kind of Bad clarify Friday. his position. Even the time he said he spent in in, in jail mm -hmm. as such, um, he spent a good time in the hospital too. Oh yes, man. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. a good time. But then when he came out, you know, but Rudolph in Jamaica, you'd say. When I capture land, you see, you know, Chronics Music will capture land. Yeah, yeah. Squatters are so you Rudolph was on captured land. But mm. at the time, uh, I think rest of Farai, as usual, was not in good light. So they, mm. he was uh, burning coal and doing things on the property. So they wanted him off the property. Rudolph was a, a self-sufficient person who planted his old food, burned coal. You know, them things there. Eh? But Rudolph was a, was a ferry, was a, like Bob Roy, a good size, you know. Otherwise, a 200 pound man, you know, would have was in that style, same way, would have someone who lift weights, chest yeah. big and thick. Yeah, man. Would have was not a man that you can just go around and top, top over. Yes, I. So, so, and then that time, would have was just growing locks. So, mm -hmm. just getting into Rastafari. Yes, sir. And that is why, you know, it was in that category 
Mm -hmm. So we give thanks what he did still. Yes, my Lord, give thanks. Before we go too deep, you know, I know many ones with no BI, as they say, do many things. I know your master selector too. Um, I know you <laughs> yeah, <high> power. <laughs> yeah, I know that. I know your international spokesman. Um, see. I see you on different platforms. Um, to be honest, the first time I came across the eye was really with the works, um, dealing with the elders. That's that's how you imprinted in several years back. Good, good time. Um, I think I was in the magazine I was going to or something. I think I was in London, to be honest. And you know what I mean? I, I okay. kind of got a win of who the I was. I say, yeah, man. And you know, it touched me because, mm -hmm. you know, anyone like, I show you know, Sister I, Janet, that passed on. Um, yeah, she's my sister in too. I know her very well. Yeah, yeah. Anyone in that field that like, trying their best to assist the ancient ones, you know, it always uh, draw my attention because it's something that's necessary. But outside of that, I don't know if you want to give the audience who may not know, even some of I who know of the I may not know certain things, if you want to just give a quick run up on who, you know, Ras Flacco is. <laughs> yeah, I give thanks because uh, Ross Flacco grew up with Rastafari elders. I was nine plus during Carl Garden's time. You know, when in Jamaica, I grew in big yard, you know, big yard with tenement yard, you know, outside toilet, outside bathroom, Rastaman all over the place. I grew up in North Gully. If you might have an idea, like Priest Brown, mm -hmm. you know, Potter's house. Mm -hmm. So we grew up on Rasta, not Gully is an inner city, what for Rasta mm -hmm. dead and mm -hmm. you know, so when I went to college, Cornwall College, you have to walk through not Gully, go over there, some family Rasta, probably ganja smoking, all of that. But mm -hmm. in searching as a youth, you want to know your identity. So Rastafari always inspire me, just like Ashley, you know, Ashley in Rockers. Ashley yes, I, yes, 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 yeah. yeah we grew up seeing Ashley, <laughs> yeah, we grew up seeing Ashley, Ashley with him long rod. Right. Actually, didn't wear any shirt. Yeah, well, with him, with him gold over his shoulder, <laughs> with him long rod right up so. Mm. Yeah, so Ashley, yeah. <laughs> the group seen Ashley, Ashley never wear, wear a tam, nothing. And Ashley just tried and burn pure fire. So they say, oh, Ashley live like that. So it's kind of inspiring. So they say, okay, there must be something in Rastafari. So all my life and journey was to study what Rastafari is. You know, you read the Bible, you go to Sunday school. So the part of my journey, was to discover myself that I found out at a very early age and then to contribute to, to make my life contributing to Rastafari development. And this is how I've written 1983, 22 points. You find that it was documented that Rastafari should create books, you know, and preserve the Rastafari heritage. So my, I took, I asked Bongo Tan, so Bongo Tan, one other thing in, in, in 22 points is Rastafari Global Secretariat, like what we should establish to, 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 as a secretary to deal with Rastafari works. I was a part of that too, because it was part of Rastafari Global Secretariat Foundation with Shango Bakwan, Costafari, and all of that. Mm -hmm. But Jamaica, Rastafari in general, are stuck with house and mansion. So although you establish things, you know, to get it international, Robert Lear. But with Wise Man publication, I thought that it was good not to document elders now. So that's how the documentation came into being of my college study, of my communication. Because when, 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 when the, the first, we, we had, this is what we had first, Wise Man publication. Mm -hmm. This is from uh, mm -hmm. 1998, mm -hmm. this book. I would have seen so that. We started from 1998. I wrote doing a Rastafari Psalms of, of Eyes and Thanksgiving, like a, mm -hmm. a prayer book. Yes, sir. See me? So I thought that it was not good. It was not only good for me to smoke, eat idol, and chant Rastafari. I have a duty to perform. So I use my intelligence now to create. I read documents a lot. So what was in the conference documents? So I is for you to create literature about Rastafari ages yes. then. Yes. Yeah. So due to oh, I am a moving house. 
with angels, I thought it was wise to interview them. So I did a series of interviews, but ancient Bongo Tony died. Yeah. And Jack Terms, who is one of the great graphic artists, said, Flacco, why are there not any books of Rastafari agents? They're just dying like that, and we have no records of them. When I look into myself in the jet terms, I documented ancients a long time ago, you know, it's on my hard drive. And from mm -hmm. that, I start to write, document, transfer into books. So Wild Man's publication is, 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 is not, is, is wide? No. So, and mm -hmm. then it's an inspiration for me because most of the ancients that I documented, they are not alive anymore. Just like Bob Rye, you know, Bob Rye book. You have Bongo Tanya, Bongo Shefan, you know, you have, you, have, you, have, you have a lot of people with Rastafari who I was able to get close to. Remember, you know, I'm a secretary of the Nibingi House too. So being a secretary, I was able to, 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 to interact with Asians and you could confidently show us a flacco. These are my words, documented. So I did that. So what happened with me now, being intellectually based then, I mean, go to college, I know certain things I have to utilize what I learn, you know? Because as Maddie said, knowledge keep for self is not good. So why should I hold my knowledge of communication and secretarial knowledge and lock it out for myself? I didn't want to do that. So we do that. And then due to my work with ancient, I love ancients very well, you know? I see that. <laughs> <laughs> you do my work with ancients now, I become an advisor to World Sound Power Collective. Then I move from an advisor to a vice president of World Sound Power Collective with a 5-0-C3 NGO based in Seattle, Washington. So I, 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 although I'm not living in America, I'm a vice president in Jamaica because legally I can be. So I, 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 I have to identify the ancients who are in need and try to figure out their needs and try to, what World Sound on Power do is, is to advertise the needs, it's transparent, you know, with the needs, with ancient pictures and their needs and money once contribute into the ancient uh, 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 medical fund. You can contribute a $5, $20, $100, and say we have a target of $200 or $100. When that money is being pulled, it comes to me in Jamaica, I'm trustworthy enough, and I give that money. And that is how we were able to raise 5,000 US dollars for Bob Gates and for many others. You see me? So I do that too. So I do Wise Man Publication. I'm a vice president of World Sound Power Collective. Um, I'm on the a Nibing Asian Council. You see, I'm a, like, I'm a secretary of Nibing, or, or we'll say, well, then uh, I like a record, which is normally a secretary for many, many years. So I do Rastafari works. I write my own books. To, so it's, Multitask. I'm a member of Ethiopian World Federation. I'm also a member of, of, of the Citizen Association in my community. So it's not a Rasta work I don't do. I do. Different, different works. Yes, I love people. Yeah, man. <laughs> Rasta Farah. Right. Yeah, man, you're stepping, uh, you're like a tiger, you're stepping quietly through the jungle, though. <laughs> I must say, yeah, definitely, uh, for the amount of what <laughs> going on there. <laughs> Quiet as kept, but yet still, yeah. as, as a tiger, the tigers get the job done for sure. Yeah, the yeah, eye should be appreciated still. Because you love that, you see. You know, because most of us, you know, is more talking and thinking than talking, you know what I mean? But um, the eye obviously mm -hmm. doing, 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 and doing, and doing. So I uh, respect. You know. Of course, of course, of course. Um, yes, yes I my say. Lord. Then, 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 then I say, I would say, I, I say I pray the, the flack of eye power now. Yes, yes, grew up yes. With sound system. Mm -hmm. Grew up with sound system. Biggest sound system in Jamaica, me go. What I did as a youth, we carry, we carry a cassette deck. Yeah. I would tape, <laughs> tape dance. Yes, I would carry them home. With a joy. Because <laughs> you go there, and you yeah. when you go home now, it's that time to dance sweet. I know them kind of bad, man. That's why I have to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> True. We go home. So I had, I had hundreds of dancers, but I said, well then, when I go dance, I don't like the music that they play. So I want to play authentic Rastafari music. So we decided to decide with my, with my, with my son, Junior, because we can we learn to wear the sound, we build our own speaker box. We have our own studio. 
So, you know, Flacco Hypo is always there for Rastafari work. You know? So the point is that one man who loves music most of our sound system. That's mm. my belief. Wow, you know, so, that's serious. Yeah, that's fine. So we have sound system. And more than yeah. one sound system, too. All man vibe the sound system, then. Yes, you know, so it is good. You yeah, carry man. that on the next level. Yeah, man. No, no, yes, no pause, my lord. But, <laughs> it, you know, the, the, the history itself, I don't want to touch upon this evening. Sure, you sure. know, whatever time we have, um, I can't really direct you to say, like, down the line, but I know usually when you hear the history of Rastafari, you usually get the basic, you know, um, um, well, of course, we know the, the coronation of the king spark it off, and we'll hear of Leonard P. Howell, mm -hmm. and we'll hear about um, Dunkley and um, Hibbert. Because uh, actually, you know, to be honest, yes, even um, even the, the few times I passed through Jamaica still, um, four or five yeah. times I would come, you know, it's not just amongst the Bobo Shanti Hill I stay. Well, that's where I stay, but I'm a man, I move around and, yeah. you know, and, and talk to different elders, all right in Bull Bay, all down in Kingston and yeah. different things. And just like the politics around here, when I say politics, not the politician politics, but the Rasta have politics too. I come across several ones that would say, yeah, man, uh, yeah, man, that man that chatting before Howell, you know, but you know, hear that man named Carl. Yeah, I, I hear that. And, yeah, um, I know them. And, no, I know, right. And, and, and don't get me wrong now. I, if you know me good, I know really on the who first thing. I don't push like I try and fight for who first or who first not. But I just know that your knowledge of the underground knowledge and especially that you're not, you're not like just book knowledge you talking, eh? you get it from the source. Not even the source, the sources. So Stain. as much as you know, Stain. you could maybe add some special nuggets in the expression tonight, I wouldn't mind. The history of Rastafari, how it really rises yes, in I... Jamaica, as much as you can explain, and we, you know, we come up to speed. Feel okay. free. Okay. Yes, I. Yes, I, yes, I. The beauty about Rastafari, or the first thing we should know, Jamaica is a slave plantation. Mm -hmm. Can't get out of our heads, right? So, within the concept of the, or, or, or the framework of the slave plantation, Africans realize that the the white god they're not gonna serve. Because remember, you know, the, the, the Africans came here with their god concept. Most of yes, them came yeah. as Muslims and Ghana and all those ones yeah. come here. Mm -hmm. And then what they don't realize, the Africans who came here, especially the Maroons, were, were soldiers of, at war. They captured them, but they were fighters who they brought into Jamaica. The white, the white society did not know. So Jamaica, Rastafari is an anti-colonial anti -colonial group. We beat down colonialism anywhere it is formed, right? So the fathers of Rastafari goes further than Marcus Garvey. Mm. He goes to Athel Rogers. He go to Ole Pibby. He go to Fitzgerald Ballantyne, Royal Parchment School of Black Supremacy. Mm -hmm. The Black Supremacy rise up because at that time was a, lick, a mashing down of colonialism. So right, it was a black party, black supremacy rule. Even when you read the promise key, you see black supremacy written in clear context, right? Marcus Garvey said, look to Africa, black kings will be crowned. Marcus Garvey repeated from Elliot Webb, not Marcus Garvey words. You know, clarification on that. It didn't come out of Marcus Garvey self, what he read. So he repeated it, we give him credit for what he did. And that openly you eyes, say he repeated? Reverend Webb. Oh, Webb. Worker. Okay, okay, okay. Webb, Baptist minister, right? So remember, so Marcus Garvey is well read now. But I'm sure you have heard about W. Blyden. Yes, I'm sure man. You okay, because yeah, one we'll attribute right. that. But anyway, you're right. Go ahead. But yeah, go ahead. Yes, you're correct. Yes, so, Please stand so, the, 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 the revelation of Marcus Garvey or the announcement of Marcus Garvey. Look for Africa. Black King will be crowned. Everybody start to wake up. Mm -hmm. Now to search the Bible. So now you have now 
And in the same time, Leonard Howell was in Jamaica too, come from Harlem. But there was a dispute between Howell and Garvey. Howell is not Rasta. No, Howell, no, I prayed it. Not Howell. Marcus is not Rasta. Right. I correct myself. Marcus is not Rasta. Marcus is Christian. Mm. Although Marcus is Pan African in Black Liberation, Marcus Garvey. Those are a Rastafari mentality or mindset. So how he wanted to show pictures of his majesty on Marcus Garvey platform. Marcus Garvey mm -hmm. said, no, take your thing somewhere else. So Marcus, Marcus how will hit the road then? What remember saying? No? I read that. You have, you have Howell, you have Hibbert, you have Heinz and you have Dunkley. They are, they are equal in their presentation. Mm. But Howell was the one who suffered the most. Howell made the declaration and Howell get the most button lick and Howell suffer the most. So all of the history of Rastafari, we should have a day to celebrate Leonard Howell, Archibald Dunkley, Hibbert, and Heinz you know, as a special day. Because what happened to Rastafari, we don't give credit to the forefathers of the movement. But all that pinnacle, they were there. So another thing that we should learn, the Ethiopian World Federation came to Jamaica. And all of these ones were, especially man like Hibbert, who was an Ethiopian World Federation member. They all were at pinnacle. So they showed in the trajectory of, 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 of the growth of Nyambingi from the whole of PB, parchment scroll, the black supremacy, come down to Lennon Howell, the, 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 the Sustainable Development Committee at, Sly, uh, uh, at Sligoville, the community, we call Pinnacle, which is 550 odd acres, wherein I will bought it, but I will have no papers. You can't find any papers for it. So that's a that serious politics in Rastafari. Right? Same way, but we know say Pinnacle, the self-sustainable community. And from Pinnacle, Rastafari rise. But then what happened with Rastafari right now, due to Rastafari position, how was the biggest ganja planter in Jamaica, you know? Biggest ganja seller to the pinnacle of ganja, or a ganja plantation on a whole. You know, say, so my pastor gets suppressed and ganja thing of suppressed. So you go destroy pinnacle. The ones that run from pinnacle go back a wall. You destroy back a wall too. You destroy angel eyes, all, all the Rastafari places. Coral Gardens again, brutality of Coral Gardens. So wherever Rastafari find himself, there is the police. So Rastafari in itself, you know, could not have a foothold in Jamaica due to lax, due to Rastafari philosophy and doctrine. But when we bear in mind that Rastafari is anti-colonial, and that's the key issue, what we learned over time in Jamaica, Rastafari have been rehabilitated. Rastafari is not the firebrand Rasta that may grow up and see you know. Now the Rasta would take to the street and preach philosophy and doctrine. Rastafari to me, the movement have been compromised. Not like Howell time, not like Priest Brown time, not, not, not like in Prince Manuel time who write. Prince Manuel is a politician, you know. Chris Emmanuel is a serious politician who would write the queen, who writes his letters. We're not having that position of Rastafari anymore. So we have lost all that fire within the movement. Although we have a historical fight, this generation is losing the fire, the fire power of the movement, which is a sad thing because all my reading and history. Then now you come up with Bongo Puro now, the first night being the priest. Mm -hmm. It's Bongo Puro who created <coughs> the theocracy reign, you know, of mm -hmm. the, all of the, all of the uh, theocracy reign out of the Nair Bingi. Bongo. Bongo Puro is the first. Puro. Puro. The Ketem. Yeah, but if, 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 even then, let's go back to, to even earlier than Puro. But before you before run too far, and what year that you would create that um, the theocracy order? Bongo Puro. It, 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 it was the I assemble. It was, it was the I assemble. You remember the time you have ground the assembly? 
Okay, okay, right. Yeah, right. the ice assembly before they have been the order, you know. Right, yes, sir. At the time of the ice assembly, mm -hmm. you had ancients within that group. Mm -hmm. Then it was 1975 now, you the Nair Bingi order was created. Theocracy was in order of the Nair Bingi as, mm -hmm. a, as a framework. Okay, yes, but I, get, then, I, get, but I even, get that if then, even then, let us go back to Bongo Wato. Well, that's, that's where, I, right, that's where I was going actually. Yeah, so let's go to Bongo Watu. So, so who, who priest was, well, Bongo Puru is after Bongo Watu in a sense. Yes. Okay, Bongo right. Watu is you, in the 1940s, you I black faith. You. I get you. The Bongo Watu, or the you black faith, led by Bongo Watu, separated the Comsom from the dreadlocks. There was a Comsom Rastafari, like, 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 uh, Early days, Rastafari didn't have no locks until a picture of Dinan Kimanti was shown by Bongo Watto. See me? So yes. when that picture was shown, you know, because, because when that shown in the Mama time, the dreadlocks picture of Dinan Kimanti was shown. So Bongo Watto said, Yeah, let us. And then in that time, the Comsom Rasta was using Kangal. He was with revival, eating goat. You get me? So that different level. Count Azil, when you look on Count Azil, Count Azil didn't have no locks. He's a Komsa. Komsa is Rasta. What Bongo Water did through the youth blackface separated now the Komsa and Rasta, which in a criminal, in a comb and, 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 and brushing beard, in a Nazi Congo dreadlocks like I and I. So there was separation. The, I listen to that as the only candle stick. So the candle burning was cut out. Cause, because remember, Rastafara in that time adopted the Kumina and the Maya. You know. Rastafara adopted the drumming, the burro drum. The burro drum is a, it, 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 it come from a Kumina. The, the Africans come to Jamaica with a drum. Them drum roll, the burro, mm -hmm. which is which which, which 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 end up into the akete, the 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 the, the, the bass, the funde, and the and the pita, the pita, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is which is which is a complement of burro. But what happened with the burro drum was played at wakes, at funeral, at weddings. But when but when 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 water look on it and bongo puro say okay then beat the too fast and then beat the invoke invoke spirit because when you're playing a burro you know you have to use rum you have to beat the drum with rum you have to blow rum but if you go to a cum in a circle when I have a rum you know I'm a blow rum through his mouth he might beat the drum with rum and then I come in a ceremony you get into spirit you come out of yourself you have to kill a goat, you have to kill a fowl, you have to sprinkle blood. The nine bingy ones came there and they learned that, but they said, as Rastafari, we don't eat me, we don't deal with blood. So the chance was modified. But the dancing was, the nine bingy dance is a burro dance. The jollification dance, you know, jump and jump and kick and up and down. The same dance, like the Buru man use as a happiness dance, it's the same dance the Bingy man use. The, 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 the Baba man is more subtle, more calm. But the Nair Bingy man is a warrior, and him jump and him dance and him up and down and him stamp and him kill Pope and everybody who trample. You know, that's it. But that come from the Buru. So what happened? Rastafari is a mixture of Indian and African. And, and, and it makes it part of the Christianity to cast some of the songs, my Christian songs too, you know. Damn. And when you look at the Rastafari songs, it, 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 it makes you some of the churchical songs, you look at it, and you look at the foundation, you know, only some might write in some different. So Rastafari is Sanky and Moody. When you look at the Sanky and Moody songs, them, Sanky and White Man, you know. So the Asian, we say, a Sanky and Moody are singing a chant, nothing. I'm born out Sankey Moody. 
Can I being is a firehouse, you know. So we look at the historical thing of it, all the things are adapted, realizing that the Sankhya mood was adapted, the Indian retention and the, and the African was, was, was adapted. So the Indian come with the ganja. The Africans never care no ganja come to Jamaica. No ganja seed, no ganja plant. I'm gonna have to respect that. Africans come naked and slave ships. So we must put the ganja, we must put the seed. Indians came as indentured workers, they come, they came as sadhus, they came in the relax. So the Indians had relaxed before they didn't come on the picture was shown. In coming in chalice, in coming in hot rod, in coming in kochi. So when the ancient Rastafari go to the Indian celebration, he say I'm on a in ganja pipe, he say I'm on a drinking ganja tea. I grow up know that it's Kali herb. Sell me a jar of Kali. Sell me a pound. A man, man use a, a, a brown paper bag and he scrape it off. I use a banana leaf, a, 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 yeah, a banana, a banana leaf. He dry it and roll him spliff in it. You see me? So all those knowledge, we can't lose them. We can't jump and say, I'm gonna put say His Majesty water ganja and an agasa. Mr. Majesty, no water ganja plant around here. Bila, 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 bila. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, a fabrication that. Bila, bila, bila. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So we don't, we don't know how the herb come in. You see how the culture yes, yes. Right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, 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 the, the gang, the gang, gang guru, gang, how you going now? Gang guru. Gang gung guru maraj. Gang gung guru maraj. Okay. So, so Lalu, Lalu, the Indian, mm. gave how will that name? Okay. okay. Gang gung guru maraj, because guru. how will merge with the Indians them? In, 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 in St. Catherine, he was there with them. They grow him. How he could speak Hindi, you know, he could speak the language too. He's a mystic man. He went that far, he could speak the language. Mm -hmm. You see me? So at Pinnacle was an interrelated community with Indians and Rasta and, and how he likes everybody mix. You see? Seen? So, oh well, and you can notice Bob Marley knew. Same, same as a tough gang. Bob well, Marley knew all these things, you know. But you know, as a musician, he put it to music. Bob Marley didn't explain all these things, but we learn who it really is. And so Bob Marley had enough knowledge and strength to say, I am the tough gang. That means that it lives forever. And you have Junior Gang. So you see him gang. We don't know if Junior Gang know where the gang are come from, you know. <laughs> I believe he gets a word somewhere, man. The way it come from. The man sit around enough <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. yes so, 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 so the, the connect the, the early history of Rastafari is so great for me to know where I'm I am coming from. So I can see where I'm going. And with all the patience to research and to read and talk to the ancients them. Because when my ancients and what the what the elders, the Indians who came here, you know. I mean, Charlie's pipe I burn, and you have him, 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 him look back over him with him food. And for him, say, I've been ganja, him walk miles, you know. You know, walk from Kingston to Mobile with him ganja pipe I burn, and him herb in him bag. And him barefoot and without shirt. And it's the same Indian, some man of eat salt. And the same Indian, we talk about the menstrual cycle. We get it from him, you know. Then we get that from another Bible that come from, you know. Indians in Jamaica practice woman separation. And Indians never eat no salt. So when the Rasta man come and Indian please fix in dish, he never have no salt. But the Africans declared long time on the slave ship. So the man threw overboard a salt in salt. So the Africans themselves come to Jamaica and lack of salt too. So all those things, the Africans who was freed from after emancipation, they never know about these things, you know. People before them tell them. So when they come into African and coming to Indians coming to mix now, it's a cultural exchange. But early, early time in Jamaica, if you have in if you have Indian blood, look like an Indian, you get burned out, you know. Mm. The Bucky Master Pitney. Yeah, you yeah, get rush in there being yeah. 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 yeah, it's a yeah. Bucky Master Pitney, so okay. you get you get no fire. Mm. <laughs> you see, you see. So having studied the thing and having reasoned ones and ones. 
we know the journey. So we can see, say, yeah, Rastafari history is secured, you know, in that sense. But you have to put yourself into a timeline, a trajectory timeline to know. Understood. It, yeah, so it was not Marcus Garvey alone. There were people, one before Marcus Garvey. We give thanks to Marcus Garvey, same way. Mm -hmm. And then we give thanks now for Bongo Puro and almost of the youth black feet. And we well, give thanks to the stubborn. But remember, remember also, you know, yeah, yes, yes. the Naya Bingi is female energy. Yes, Naya Bingi is queen, Naya Bingi. Naya Bingi is revolution. Naya Bingi is not church. Naya Bingi is battlefield. Naya Bingi water down to a church. And I know that. I read that. I know that. But there are compromising within Rastafari. You have to look on. So how much more will we compromise the movement? How, will, how much more will we compromise the core principles of the movement, having studied it? Yeah, I see. So this is a dilemma, you know. Will we remain churchical? Or will we step up churchical and become governmental like his majesty? That's all. So there's another level of Rastafari where the intelligence of those who go to the university and the colleges must step up too. We are not the black art man anymore, you know. Oh, man. That's sad, man. That's sad. Like a, like a judgment just set an eye and I get for real, man. Yeah. And they said really there. Yeah, yeah, man. Because, they said really there. Because, because, because right now, right now, when I talk to my Asians, them, most of them try to work. Them couldn't read. Them couldn't write. But it was an oral tradition. You'll find an ancient. You know every chant, you know every songs, you know everything, but can you write it? Early Rastafari, the oral tradition didn't come true. And I know and I respect them. That's why I document them. And I write books about them because they couldn't write it themselves. Come like this stick, brother. To Rastafari, two different generations, also. So, when I say, well, then it's duty and responsibility to know, having gone to college, having not so much knowledge, we're supposed to function within a government. Rastafari say there are government within a government, especially in a bingi. So, how can we establish the theocracy reign on earth if we are not taking up governmental responsibilities? We're going to burn the chalice, smoke the spliff, eat the idol, and fly the ice gold and green. Is that enough? I can't say for that. That is, sure. not my, that is not my journey. Several times it seems like My that. journey is education. Several times like it seems that one's the one trying to come together and put that thing in order. Whether it's all house and mansions or the houses and the mansions, even the houses and the mansions, as they call them, them alone can't even get their thing, their act together individually, much less the whole thing coming together. But listen, I want to come forward to all that, you know, but I, I um, because in mm. fact, even before we seal up, it's somewhere around there wanting to go like, how we, how we, how we going to do this? How we get in this oneness? What we going to just see generations and generations keep coming and coming and arguing over the same thing. But before that, what I what I wanted to ask, as far as the theology, especially biblical. Yes. Because for sure, um, I wasn't there. So I would hear one say that man, Rasta didn't start with Bible. Rasta was a revolutionary. As you said, it was kick off King George and 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 Haile Selassie was the king, which is very important. That's a point I have on from time to time to show people the mm -hmm. importance of that point. It, this wasn't just it's not Jesus Christ, man was putting aside alone. Eh? King King George, you know, man stop hailing King George and hailing a next king somewhere else in the world. That was like a crime. Basically. King Saudi. But King Saudi. Rastafari but, and Jamaica was worshiping King Saudi. But what I'm saying. Because we're searching. But here, you know, what I'm saying, um, I'm saying that as far as the the nineteen thirties, there, you'd always hear that one say when the king was crowned, 
Yes. I saw the prophecy in the Bible of Revelation mm -hmm. and such and such. Now, those are the early days. So, exactly. when actually did the Bible come into full play? Especially as you said, well, no one was wearing locks until they see the mama. Although ones will draft for Numbers chapter 6 to define yes. the locks. So, exactly when it is that the Bible became like an integral part, was it from the inception or somewhere along the line? Okay, okay you, 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 you would say from Arthur Rogers okay. and from Fitzgerald Ballantyne, revolutionary writers, you know, they, their book was like the Black Man Bible. Right. And it was considered right. Black Man's Bible. Mm -hmm. That before Naya Bingian and mm -hmm. all these things. For us, so, in a sense. Yes, yeah, and for black people. Because Remember, Jamaica is an oppressive state. If you're white, you're right. If you're brown, you're sticker around. If you're black, you turn her back. So the oppression was there. And then having the African retention, having yearning for Africa, because it's it, it in your blood, it's in your DNA, you know, no matter how you want to look on it. You know. Having, having see a white God. I'm gonna tell you, say, you're born in sin and shape in inequity. I'm gonna deal with that. You come through sex from parents. I mean, you know what them in And you have to wash till the white house snow. We want that too. So, so we step up revolutionary. We see all of that. So, during them days, they're the same thing. So, you have the black man Bible come up. Then you have, which is black supremacy, you know. Because when you read them Bible, like Holy Pibi and, mm -hmm. and Fitzgerald Valentine, them not too nice, you know. It's a bone out right supremacy non-stop, you know. And when we read certain part of the old, old promise key, you can see that too. Which was a black supremacy doctrine. But when you read his majesty now, you say, no. We don't want to go to that extreme because it's not the same discrimination wherever it is found. So you have a new thinking of I and I. Because Marcus Garvey said black supremacy and then white supremacy. Them, 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 them can see different levels, but they don't, they don't war with each other. Come and see Marcus Garvey talking to the Ku Klux Klan, you know. And the Ku Klux Klan respected him. Because you're on your black side, I am on our white side, and we not interfere with each other. But when I and I read the speech of His Majesty, His Majesty lick discrimination. Sure. His Majesty forgive the Italians. So how can we... Marcus said race first. We say race first, see me? But we don't got to discriminate. No, no. We have to look no, no. about our people first. So what we need to do is to identify the potential within Rastafari from an early age and change the scheme of things. It might be hard for the youths then, but we all have children and grandchildren. We need scholarships in place. Because when, when I go Bob Rife funeral, you know, are we are Rasta today, you know? And Bob Rye family no Rasta. So how can we have these things continuing? A man serve all in life for Rastafari. I would also Rastafari collective around him to send him I off. A man like that. Losing. Man. You get me? So when we look around, okay, Rasta man say Ital. We don't have no Ital restaurants, you know. Because when we go in, you know, man say if you drink spring water, you're going dead. You know. Mm. No, glory the world of spring water. Always a reference educated in You can remember we can go to universities, we can be professors also. Our oh, mental capacity is wide enough because now we have the opportunity to go where education lies. So why why are we satisfied? With the minimum level of Rastafari. His man say you must put, you climb as far as you can to reach up, step, go up there. So I always satisfied in, in the middle or at the bottom. I'm going to deal with that. So my motivation is for Rastafari to step up to match strides as scientists too, as educators and as politicians. We cannot be afraid of police because his majesty is the greatest politician ever. Not true. Yeah, man, you diplomat. Of going into politics. I hear you say 
um, Prince Emmanuel is a politician too. You said it's that. A politician too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see? So what we have to do, we see what the generation said. It is a button change for Iman. Most of the ancient whom we grew up with, yeah, they're dead. Gosh. They're not here anymore. For the few who are left back are very, very sick. So my generation must make the change, you know. Also, the I generation to my lord have to make the change. We have to find ways, I mean, to inspire Rastafari to step up educationally, step up in business, step up in commerce. How much longer will we see at the bottom of the scale? I listen to says God and King and Earth rightful ruler, not you? So why are the children of His Majesty at this level? So, so that would bring me to the next, you know, so how are we going to do that? What? It has to be a revolutionary move. When I say that, because from I say, okay, you, you, you do differentiate my generation from yours. Yeah, I mean, so what? We're in 2020 now. I would say 23 years ago, I accepted the king. 23 years ago. To some, yes. To some people, that's like a long time, but maybe to a man like the eyes, he's like, you just come down the category. <laughs> yeah, from, from nine. <laughs> right, <laughs> like, right, exactly. But what I'm saying still, but from I come into it, um, where I am here in Antigua, I traveled to Barbados for conference, as I said, several times in Jamaica, um, different places I go, and you don't know, I see Rastafari trying to unify. Yes. For all them years, I see, I see several conferences, King, trust me. Mm -hmm. All with mm -hmm. Prince Hermes, Selassie, and so there. I see several things and still not getting there. I see Bobo Shanti trying up to now to reconstruct myself for yes. a long time. Even right here within the Bingy house, man trying to to farm a council properly and that still ain't getting done. And that's just here. Plus all the different spots in the earth. So that that international unity that we really looking for. You know, because I mean, wow, like there's a there's an organization, Priest Dougie is a part of it, Empress Marina Blake, I'm sure you know of her. Um, the new faculty of thinking, um, uh, thinking in Rastafari, I hope I have the words correctly. And um, basically, well, they, they style themselves as a mediator to 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 really, you know, uh, bring on the discussion. Sorry, yeah, no more please. Right, you know. But, I am questioning that. Go ahead. Let me hear you say about that. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead let me hear. Okay. What levels? Okay. I and I Rastafari have declared. Without apology, I last year is divine. Mm -hmm. I know your anki. We don't really respect. We don't really have any problems with other ones who declare a different divinity. Mm -hmm. Because I listen last year say religion is personal and the state is for all. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna reinterpret that? and change up that teaching or that knowledge? Are we going to reinterpret what the Nair Bingi does or what the Bobo Shanti does or what the 12th tribe of Israel does? So which new faculty, how are we? Mm -hmm. That came up from March, my plan, you know? This new faculty True. of interpretation, you know? Interpretation, yeah, you're not thinking. It's anything. from Plano. When Plano at the University of West Indies, as a fellow, they, they take things out of his mind that were his thoughts, see me? So, what I need to do is not to reinterpret Rastafari. Is to ensure that Rastafari stand on a solid ground with the divinity of his majesty we have that already. It's time for economic progress. It's time for, for housing, medical, education, stability. It's time to take Rastafari out of poverty. It's time, it's time to pull sources, you know, especially educational resources. And land, Rastafari and Jamaica have over high glands, you know. So why should we go to market, especially the Ironman to go to market, and I don't see Rastafari, I plan on food. Why yeah. is it not being a property idol? 
if I could say um, I'm not a spokesman for the organization, but in respect for what I gather they're saying, I think it's exactly what you're saying. They're saying in the sense that there is a there's a there is a, a way of interpretation that we have, not necessarily that it is wrong. Yes. But some mm -hmm. of us have been stuck in black and white television when we gone, nobody had no black and white television now. But exactly. I, I get, for example, like big, at the beginning, we were talking about the center for the brethren. Yes. You don't know coming into this thing, you know what I mean? You're not supposed to even look at the, the hearse when it passes. Look at the dead, yeah. Right. So I think it's a, along that level, they're saying, well, listen, man, man need to look at these things again and have a new faculty of interpretation. That's that's what I gather from what they're saying. I know the word sound does be tricky, I tell you, this <laughs> thing is a tricky thing. Now. I, I, I don't want to be like bringing up gloom and doom, you know, but trust me, this Rasta, trying to get this Rasta thing, like if everybody's supposed to think the same. Well, that to me, that's an impossible thing. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Not, not, not that you're trying say. that, no. Not that you're trying that. I mean, no, there's no, a no, level no, of no. common sense that we all, there's certain principles that wrong. all Rasta keep then. Let's put it that way. There's certain principles yes. that all Rasta keep. I think we can concentrate on that. I wouldn't even bother with how whatever a man believe me for sure that no trouble mm -hmm. me i stand firm with what i mean eh? as a bubble shanty you know but that's it yeah i respect the night being the artist so tremendously you know i wouldn't even try to go around it and defile it if a man believe my presence and how i move would defile it that's how much i respect it because i go up around it you know yes i believe that we need to be able to work together now man as a globe to me we okay. need a, a real council Okay, that is why. Some man don't want a leadership. Eh? The leader inside of you now. But yeah, I pray. That is why from 1983, from the Rita Conference, the ancients had decided to fix this communication matter globally and to make ones and ones more aware a Rastafari global secretariat would be appropriate to solidify different house and mansions and to send representative on that on that on that within that administration so you could not only have a one voice but a policy that every house and mansion share when that was launched in montego bay pit four people shrugged them shoulders i want to maintain within the nabing and baba shanti integrity so you can maintain your integrity the same way, you know. But you have to have an administration now that can decide policies and to make move and to write up politicians and create as a movement fundraising activities. That does not jeopardize your organization, but you could send a request. So we need that, we need this, we need that, we need schools, we need and we do a global fundraising. So Bobo Shand would send to Nabing, would send to 12 Child, would send to some who goes down and even right. mansions, you know. Can brother also and sisterly send. love. Yeah, man. Hmm? Not the brother and sisterly love. Yes. So what 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 I'm what I'm locked into is a celebration. Which all celebrations are dated. I'm locked into other secretary and being in now being in Bobo Shanti same way. I'm locked into ritual celebrations. Timeline celebrations, all the days we celebrate. And when those days are celebrated and finished, everybody go home. Hmm. They just come to the next celebration. <laughs> exactly. And the next celebration. And the next celebration. <laughs> we have to change that. <laughs> that must for us to move forward. We have to change that. Yes, because we do no visiting. We do no caring. We find no, find no food. We do nothing but come to the next celebration. Yes, and we're sir. happy and we laugh. And dress up and dance. Oh, right. Yeah. Because when I was in 12 tribe, you know, I got to banquet. You know, we go to all the job of them same way. You get me? Mm -hmm. And after that, we go on our yard. So it's time for this generation who are educated, if even a few, to try and make a change. Remember, you know, early Rastafari will listen. They're not internet ready and they don't write, you know. No Facebook. Either. They don't know no phone business. They know WhatsApp, they know Google, they know. Instagram, you know, I and I are the voice of the world, you know. The world know we, the world know that, the world know I am, you know. 
I consult with my agents and I make it a known say this is what we're doing. So if I and I are equipped now with education and knowledge and know-how, don't have the confidence to step out and declare, it now got change. Until the agents then pass off. And when they pass off, who will hold the mantle high? Who will fly the ice gold and green? Will we, dis will we disorganize Bingy Man? We have to look and say, at, we're in my space, ancient strading. There's no button change, you know. Mm. Ancient, foreign, ancient family buried ancients and them the Rasta. They're just there to reap and make pass and talk over them. So we're losing value and we don't have enough Rastafari in schools at a tertiary level either. So we uh, uh, yeah. So, we, so how are we going to manage government if we are not educated about government? It's how we, are we going to manage ganja business? How we don't have a master's in ganja growing or, 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 or a ganja professor? Not you? Yes, my lord. Aye, aye. New faculty of in, in interpretation that might be. This might be a little provocative, you know, but um, what, what's the word sound with the... Um, Rascalanji Sizzler's position as far as the Naya Bingy House and President. Okay, that, 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 that is simple. That is Jump easy. <laughs> that is easy. See, the Naya Bingy. Sizzler is Naya Bingy. Yeah. Sizzler have money. Sizzler spend money within Naya Bingy circle. Mm. As a secretary, I have records of Sizzler expenditures. My lord. I don't have a problem with that. When we have problems, Sizzler is over the Naya Bingy stamp and seal. Sizzler had it for safekeeping. Because we had a problem of the, of the security of the Naya Bingy stamp and seal. We're not going around that talk. What should have happened? It should be given up to somebody who can have it. The safekeeping that he has, it should come out of that safekeeping. No, we have a dispute with Sizzler, with the Naya Bingy stamp and seal. That's the greatest dispute. So it's not Sizzler the person, you know, it's how things unfold administratively okay. with Sizzler. So we can't, we can, I can't point a finger at Sizzler, say it was a caring man, right. a Rastafari. I don't have no problem with Sizzler. It's how he manages things as far as Naya Bingy property. As a result, the stamp and seal that he has, we have to create a new one. Okay. So it's about administration, but the ancients trust Sizzler. As you get they up, authorize yeah. him. Sizzler says, as a secretary, Sizzler said, when the ancients come to him and say, give up the stamp and seal, in our keeping, he will give it up. So the ancients, most of them dead now, you know, like Bongo Sheffern and Bongo yeah. Tani, you know, they're not here to speak anymore on that behalf, you know. Well, that's recording secretary. I have that in minutes. So I think we missed the point when it comes to that part of it. Yeah, good so I think since I stepped out now into, into other areas of Rastafari, because we don't have Scotch Pass no more, you know. I was asking about that with the reader. Yeah, Scotch Pass, Marley owns Scotch Pass. It's their property. Marley gave five acres for Naya Bingy. Rita Marley fenced off one side and five acres was given to the Naya Bingy. What we learn is that people doing things on, on, on Scots Pass, which was, which was not authorized. The Naya Bingy don't have no money you know, to buy the five acres of land. You know. when, when ones came to, to, to survey the land and cut off the five acres for Naya Bingy, there was a quarrel and the surveyors left. It's Naya Bingy fault not to find the money and not to rush the surveyor to purchase the five acres of land. So we can blame Marley the family, the ability to administrate, the intelligence to negotiate. And the pool of funds. Because we could have easily say, Marley, survey, how can we fight for Scots Pass and we not pay no taxes for Scots Pass? How can that be? Marley never will it to, to Naya Bingy. And land in Jamaica, you have to pay taxes. Where is tax money going to come from to pay the tax on five acres of land? There are technicalities in the Bingy. 
Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, if man. you look on the wall, the bigger I, picture. It's good that they clarify these things, so. Yeah. So I personally know Kalanji. Kalanji know me. I have no grievance with Sister Kalanji. You understand me? Mm, you stick a little bit there. I don't know if it's you or me, but it's a little stick here. You freeze up just a bit. You still there, brother? Mm. Okay. I can say categorically it's also. Yes, see? It yeah, it's yes. just for a bit. So but you're good. For that. And, and what we learn. You see, so 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 that another thing. So the ancients who are supposed to be as cosmos, they are now in South Africa. Mm. So it's a different thing you're looking at there. So, so we have to leave that until that is finalized. Finalize. So they're only standing there being also spit for. Yes, sir. So we don't have no quarrel with the Marley family. And we have no quarrel with Kalanji. Everything that's all we need to do is to build what we have, what we are sure of as our own. We can't get into no legal backers. So we need Scott's Pass. Who will run Scott's Pass? So, so, so for us to get together, well, we need another reasoning of all the different mansions again, uh, some international conference. Everybody fly coming to Jamaica. We meet in South Africa. I mean, because we've been trying that, but I mean, wow, wow. But, 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 but I pretty my Lord, all these conferences, yeah, I've when seen these them, findings come up, they are not implemented. Fair enough. That is true. Uh, what we should do is to revise conference notes. Is my to say five year plan. Don't plan five years at a time. So what is Rastafari five year plan going mm. in? Mm. Mm. What what are our plans on the ground? What are what are our aims and objectives? What are we going to establish five years from now? Are we going to the Nair Bingi sign up? I'm not gonna give up Africa for Jamaica. I'm not gonna plant a coconut tree in Jamaica. I will not be here to drink a coconut. Yeah, they use that. Said born that. Babylon and go home. Uh, and Most of them here. dead, Congo. Oh, my. Them dead. Mm. And they don't reach Africa yet. If never being a time when plant food, you know, and, and buy properties, you know, we would not be in this situation. Yep, 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 yep. I told you agree, man. I told you agree. This is clear in my mind. We are to do and we are to go. Mm -hmm. That is true. That is true. I guess I want to um disturbant with the record, not the recording really, with your, your coming through. It was stuck there like it's stuck again, I hope. Uh I see. So is it just a matter of you play you can hear me good now? Yeah, hearing you good. I hear you good. It, it, it gave me a little stick in there before yeah yeah but listen to brother you know and i don't want to keep you forever too you know and um we we don't cover so much and wow well, I, I i once once the time is there you know we could even do a next session because you know we didn't even get into you know like if you write in the testimony of all them elders there that's a whole new bible there oh, yes, the man that's talk about peter and paul and, <laughs> and that fellow there I mean, yeah. th these are the ones. But let me ask you know, before we 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 we, we seal up this tonight. Mm -hmm. I know you have interviewed several elders. Yes. Um, I I saw an interview you did with Dr. Dean, and you were yes. asking her about Bongo Watu. Yeah. So I don't know the extent. Not somebody else account. I don't know. First of all, if you ever sat with Bongo Watu. And no, at, at that time I, I, I was not close to Bongo Water to talk to him. You can't really get to Bongo Water like that, you know. Okay. You, have to in, with it, you have to be within his circle. Okay. I seen. So okay. at that time we don't see Madanaya Bingi, I will give thanks for his presence. But to get close to him, it took me as a secretary a couple of years to be respected I and mean, be trustworthy to handle information that they would give me. That is why I was able to interview so many ones and they were confident whatever information was given, it would be used to, for their benefit. Mm -hmm. But Dr. Dean 
was Bongo Waters uh, secretary. She went to Barbados, you know. Yeah, I know, I know. And, I and, and she and Marsh Shanti, I pray because mm, Bongo, baby, Bongo, I pray mm. and baby, I, Bongo Water did not like Rastafari sisters. They could not speak on his platform. Oh, true, I know you He was on. a kind of person like that. But so is he didn't like them. <laughs> yeah, Bongo Water serious. You yeah, but when, when they say they like them, oh my. Well, no, 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 in the sense of how I know that man. Even them a platform to speak. I know. I don't. I I don't agree with them kind of things. There, I think man too right. after give them meditation. But so so, so at, at one time, you know why they are so? mm. uh, uh, <laughs> he, he, from from Dr. Dean's testimony, Marshanti says she wants to make a presentation. So Marshanti sing, and it was so glorious at that time, and that that from that, the sisters were able to talk and sing and make a presentation. <laughs> and Bongo Wato, you know, was more relaxed with the sisters around him. So at least that was able to go to a delegation with him. I was able to be close to him. But I think that's, 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 that, but you see, the thing which is totally wrong, now being is a female energy. It is not a male dominated thing, you know. The history of Naya Bingi, Frankie Kese, Uganda is Queen Naya Bingi. But for some over the years, the man them dominate Naya Bingi and the woman them stay around so. But we know say is Emperor Ailey Slash and Empress men in his balance. In everything, balance must be maintained. And all of that line of thinking have to come up too. So the sisters' council have to come up, daughters' council have to come up, and all that welfare thing have to come up. I mean, balance with I and I do as a, a Rastafari sons in the new faculty of interpretation. The sisters in a space to express themselves. They should not be restricted. You know? We know say sisters don't play apps, you know. But they should be able to speak freely and not be heckled. Because they have a way to express themselves and they should be tolerated. And we because they are mothers. They have different concern too. So, you know, all that we need to look into. I think it will change over time, but it's still a struggle. <laughs> well, have African culture where they play the drums, eh? But um yes. outside the bongo what you know. So outside of the night being give you one this is realms now. Mm -hmm. Um have you ever sat with Prince Emmanuel? And if not, hold on, I say nothing yet. If not, mm -hmm. Uh, been in his presence, especially, especially, well, anytime, not, not especially, no time, anytime at all. Uh, I, I went to camp over I would here. Expect. That's what I would expect. But I was at school, I was at school at the time, I was going to school in Kingston, and I could not sojourn as I, as I would. When the sabbatical, I would stay there and go to the routines of, of uh, you know, of, of ceremonies and, you see, blessings and so, but at that time, he was not, I was not allowed to see Prince Emmanuel come maybe at that time was sabbatical. Yeah, I yeah, seen, yeah, yeah. and, and, and that was it. But, but then I read a lot of his writings. Okay. And that kind of get me closer to the mind of Prince Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. So and that, that I'm, I'm, I'm very thankful for that, you know? And I respect Prince Emmanuel and, 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 and I like the liberty of Baba Shanti that I seen, which is good, you know? And, 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 and his royal, and I, and I give thanks for what the inspiration of Prince Emmanuel for what he has shown to I and I. I'm sure within the, the Rastafari family. You would have gotten a lot country. from the elders. Because I, I hear a few things to do with Bongo Isaac. And I know for sure, even with Bongo I Toto. Yes, and yes. In, in, in both cases, when they mention him, you know, because in my time coming up, anytime you hear about him, is as pure fire and a heap of fire and fire and fire. And I always found that. You know, to be very honest, even amongst Rasta, mm -hmm. if you didn't really search him out, you would swear he didn't exist. To be honest, <laughs> that's the truth. And yeah. only now it kind of come out like it's all right to talk about him, eh? I tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. But when mm -hmm. I hear that some of them elders you interview, I must say, even when they mention him, you know what I mean? He's not, no, not like to say and how man have it and them things, but you could see the highest of respect. You know what I mean? I hear Bongo Isaac say, yeah, man, he's one of our shepherds. You know, I know Congo Rocky, eh? 
yes. and, and Congo Rocky refer to Prince Emmanuel as our father. Anytime he mentions our father, he always, I never ask him no question. He said, yeah, man, mm -hmm. yeah, man, when we went up the hill and our father came and talked to us, I said, what? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I, I, he's, he's highly respected. Mm -hmm. He's highly respected. But where, 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 where ones who have the controversy is the emblem. Don't know. Is mm -hmm. the emblem. The, the, put, the emblem, put the emblem aside. Right, right. Aside. You know, because remember, you know, Prince Emmanuel was at Bacawal too, or, you know, uh, a Spanish stone road close to Bacawal, mm. right? And, and, and the 21 day convention, he was there with everybody, was there too. Yeah, I seen, and and and, and he was waiting, and, and the ship to come, you right. know, no ship never come, you know, and, and everybody get eruption and start burn pure tire, pure fire, and the whole of the place get mashed up. So, so if, 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 if Asian Bongarai, who, 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 who's an ancestor, and Daniel told that. The amount of beating Prince Emmanuel get, you know. They thought he was dead, you know. And the amount of beating my Prince Emmanuel get. When they, when, when, they, when they drag him away from the police that came, Prince Emmanuel did not have no broken bones. That's why he says, must be God who police can beat, so. And no bones was broken. And that's why he decided to go back and say, the Rastas were unruly. He did not tell him to protest. Oh, man. He did not authorize any protest or any breaking of, 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 of Queen Victoria, Victoria Han yeah. in the park and mm. over fire burning. He never tell them about that. They took it on their own. So yeah. he said, he will not say we don't unruly people anymore. And that is why Baba Hill was created on that level for own security and more discipline. That's why Baba Shant is so disciplined. In whatever they do, I have to respect Prince Emmanuel for the discipline he instilled in Rastafari. That I see. So, you know, each one play them role. Yeah, man. And each I and I get credit for what they do. I, I'm not the one who thanks for his work and his duties. You know, see? Like, you know, so. So it's said, but we have to have now. They have to listen to the Asians how they speak. Because they know Prince Emmanuel. Exactly, of course. He's more than me, of course. And can speak genuinely of him. That I see. Him. So you know. So we give thanks for the work and the life. That's why you know the creation of books now is important. Because that volume of knowledge is preserved. And one of the purpose of Wise Man publication is that. Most ones could not even see an ancient or talk to an ancient, but they yeah. can read his live interview, which is, is not edited. I record it, I type it straight. So it's under my words, the ancient words directly. So it's a live testimony, you know, which is a preservation of work. So we give thanks. Rastafari. Right. Aye, aye. Yes, my love, we have to get this thing done, you know. I I'm not sleeping on it, eh? Sometimes no. ideas just come to my mind and anyhow I can implement it. But I like to see Rastafari rise, man. I, and my one of my outlook is that Rastafari differently than the house mansion thing. I have my different philosophy and the interpretation of that. But I don't want to get into that. But outside of the house is mansion thing. No problem, eh? You know, as I say, I stand firm. But Rastafari yeah. is a movement, from my understanding. It's a movement. A, a, a movement, as you would say, if you want to use the term political movement, man does get vexed me for using that term, but it's a movement. As I, as I said, we put down white supremacy, King George and Elizabeth, and we put the emperor on his throne. That was really the first move. That's how I see it. So it's a movement. Yeah, you may have a little outlook. You may say, well, you're keeping the Sabbath this day. You may want to eat that and he will say, well, me. Day. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Now, this is going to stay forever if you get argue on that forever. But they have to be not around with speaking about those things neither too. I love that kind of debate. But that should not stand in the way of our our food, clothes, and shelter and development movement forward to the future. Oh my. Yeah, man. That's sick that we have we holding back. Rasta uh, and, and, that, and that is why. Yes, because his majesty put semantics aside. Yeah. And just come and come and grow and move forward. So the people is him schism and emblem and this and that and food and who this and that put the one side. Because that does hold us back. 
<laughs> I see it so much, my lord. I sometimes make we, cry. We don't, we don't know it's set, you know. Yeah, man, I see it. Yes. That the tears were I say, wow, the man go. I see it so much time right that time that you literally water come out by and say, man, the man go hold up this again for that liquor pint. Yes. I've seen it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my. I see. <laughs> my lord, give sure. thanks. Um, Rastafari, I live again. You know, I mean all guidance and protection to you. I don't know if you want to say sealing word. If there's anything happening in the future, you want the people to know about. If um, as far as the works for the elders, if there's any contact that you want to give that the ones could contact you or any website, anything that's going on. Okay, because, because okay, I pray. Yes, because okay, it's for me. Is R A S F L A K O at gmail.com. I'm, I'm, I'm a computer man, so you reach me there very easily. All this amazing stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to work with the Rastafari congregation still, because that is my area, basically. I love welfare, I love Asian care. There's money allocated in Jamaica, but you, they don't have enough boots on the ground. I yeah, seen so ancient Asians is my responsibility, and I would appeal to the youths now who are educated, who have decided that Rastafari is their liberty. I would say, don't limit yourself to a chalice or a spliff or a plate of idol or to the emblem flying. There is more to Rastafari <laughs> than herb and food. And I have to step it up. Once we recognize that his majesty is divine, if there's a problem with that, you grow Can we go to uh, 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 on all of that thing, creating sustainable development? And first, re-educate your, re yourself. Find some course, do find some college if you have ability. Don't sit down on your talent. Each man have an ability and use it to develop Rastafari in days to come. Ja. Rastafari. Yes, my Lord, give thanks. Um, I don't know if you know how to, to, to let yourself out there. I know this is- uh, How should I do it? Well, you just say your computer man, although you knew on the Zoom there. You should have a button yeah. there that says, I don't know what he says. I think it's, I usually host it, so I don't even know how to get out. But it should be saying either end or, or something of the sort. Okay. All right. So I could try? Yeah, try and see um, okay. if you could put it out. You know, to be honest, I suppose I can let you out too. Eh? Okay, right. you can try. Yeah. All right, give thanks for Bongo Flacco there. That was a very wonderful presentation. We give thanks to the good brother for coming and even strengthening us in such information. Uh, of course, as he was speaking of higher education, but that was a whole professor, a professor-like presentation he just gave to us a moment ago. And I definitely was in class there. You know, them kind of information there is just about getting knowledge. Eh? Yeah, and, and, and just asking the pertinent questions, you know, as it relates to the subject area. So I'm very thankful for that. Uh, very touching, especially at the end there for me, I must say. Uh, give thanks again, Ras Flacco. Remember his, his email is rasflacco at gmail.com. You could contact him on any serious business as it relates to Rastafari. Um, seems like a brother that will, is willing to express at any time. If you have a platform, you think you want to you know, reach out to him. You may want to, you know, give a word on your platform as well. I'm very thankful for that. So, yes, I'm looking forward to seeing you on Sunday. Um, but as the 1st of November, remember this is not YouTube, not Facebook. We'll be definitely util utilizing our webinar, our webinar platform. This is going to be a very dynamic lecture itself. The King was just talking about Rastafari and the the woman and Naya Bingi, the feminine energy. Give thanks because all of that is a part of the presentation on Sunday for real. The whole, of course, Naya Bingi, you know, Queen Naya Bingi of Uganda. So that energy will be with us. 
Rastafari and the woman, we are celebrating the 90th anniversary of the crowning of Empress Menin as Empress of Ethiopia, Haile Selassie I and Empress Menin. So yes, Sunday, the 1st of November, 7 p.m. Eastern Caribbean time. Remember the, the ad, admission is only $20. You, you, you could make your payment on the cash app at on RA, A-T-O-N, R-A 2723. If you have any problem using Cash App, you can contact us via the email as priestisaac27 at gmail.com. And that is it. Remember, if you are a subscriber to the shock of the hour radio program, you don't have to worry. Definitely your ticket is in the bag as always. And for those new subscribers who are subscribing before the event, for sure you definitely have the event covered that will be next Sunday, just in a few days. So make sure you do whatever it is you got to do. Contact me, precise at 27 at gmail.com. So yeah, we give thanks continually for the history from the good brother there, the knowledge and the information and the inspiration. And um, I will not hold you up no more neither. I bid you a wonderful evening. And since this is done in collaboration with the shock of the hour we will say if you know your bible and you do not know your history the knowledge of your bible will become a mystery yeah and it takes them realize to realize the real lies that are amongst us give thanks king emmanuel i selassie i ja rastafari wonderful